Okay, I wanted to show you guys how to build a safe fire in the wood stove for when you're up here. Uh, so first of all, make sure the damper is open and all the way to the right is open. That means that the air can flow up the chimney so we don't smoke out the inside of the cabin. And I put a log in front so that stuff can't roll out too much so that the fire doesn't go rolling onto the carpet here and uh, then built a little fire with kindling TP style, bunched up a bunch of newspapers and just laid this crisscross over each other and I'm going to save one piece of paper for the end of it so that I can light this up and put it away at the back of the stove and what that's going to do is heat the air and get the air moving up the chimney pipe. Uh, especially if the air is still outside or a little bit foggy or something like that, it's real hard to get it to draw. Once I have that started, then I want to close the door right away to make sure that we're not getting smoke back into the room. We can start adding small pieces of, of uh, firewood a little later on, but for now I'm just going to start with with some real small kindling. So <clears throat> I'll start this paper first and just tuck it way in the back. And then start some of the newspaper here under the kindling. And then I'm just you can see a little smoke sneaking out already. If that starts happening, or it's not drawing, then just close the door completely and just let it get drying for a while. This is supposedly sealed, so we hopefully won't get smoke in the room. Once it starts burning a little better, you want to crack it open to give it extra air because at first you want it to burn really nice and hot burn away a little bit of the, the creosote that's inside. If I don't give it some air, it's not going to burn very well. You can see it's already drawn up the chimney because when I open the door, the smoke is sucking in. Okay, what I want to do is get this burning nice and hot for maybe the first 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, once it's going pretty good, well, I'm going to add a couple smaller pieces of regular firewood. And I have this thermometer on top. They say a good fire should register on here from 300 to maybe 500 degrees at the highest. So keep an eye on that so we have to save fire temperature. <clears throat> and it's going pretty well now, so we'll just leave that door open for a little while. This is what I'm going to slide in. Just I'm putting those in the other way rather than parallel to the front. That way it's not as likely to have the pieces of wood roll pull out. So I'm going to burn it that way for a while, get it going nice and hot, maybe after 10 to 15 minutes, as I said close it up. Once I see that temperature getting up over that 200, 250 degree range, with the door shut, I will then close the damper for a little more control because if it gets too much air, it's going to overheat. So I would close that by sliding it to the left. That will kill the air a little more. And that's what you want when you really have it going nice and, and hot later on. Uh, anytime I add firewood, I want to make sure that this damper is all the way to the right. Open up the door just to crack, make sure that the smoke is drawing in. And then open it up slowly and you can slide more firewood in on top. So when you're all done for the evening, you should be safe just to keep it all closed up. 